Fortnite's new update has dozens of secrets, whether it be Fortnite's first blind skin with a secret effect to a massive upcoming event for National Banana Day. Here's everything you missed in Fortnite's 29.2 update. You might have noticed a mysterious iceberg drifting towards the map, and now that it's impacted the Avatar mini pass events here, and it's brought new gameplay as well as iconic skins. Coming this Friday on the map are going to be iconic different temples, each one representing one of the four nations water, earth, fire, and air, just like the show. And for each of the four elements, there's also one skin, where if you head to the item shop, you can find Katara, Zuko, and Toph, and their cosmetic bundles. Speaking of cosmetics, some new emotes were added for the Avatar crossover, and their hidden references to the show. The My Cabbages emote is a direct callback to the series, where an old guy selling cabbages was too obsessed with them to the point of screaming when they were destroyed. Oh my cabbages! The other emotes are direct references to Aang's airbending abilities, which he uses to impress people in his own childish way. Even more shocking is Fortnite's first ever blind skin. Most emotes will move your eyes around like crowning achievement, but Epic went above and beyond because with this skin, the eyes stay completely still, which is of course paying homage to how her character is blind in the show. Can't you watch where you're- No. Right. What disappointed many though was the fact that we got all the members of Team Avatar except for the character Soka. Only his trusted boomerang and sword were added as references to the character, but his skin is nowhere to be found. His cosmetics leave room for a potential skin in the future, but until then, I guess we're just gonna have to wait. Cosmetics aren't the only things that Avatar fans will enjoy because alongside the waterbending ability that we've had for so long, Fortnite also added airbending, earthbending, and firebending mythics, all with their own unique powers. These all kick off this Friday, and when using the airbending scroll, you enter a wind gun and can roll around super fast. The firebending mythic's pretty standard since you can throw fire projectiles at your enemies and also has a fire kick attack. And lastly, the earthbending scroll allows you to create a giant stone wall in front of you, which is the move used by most earthbenders in the show. Today's update has something super controversial though, because a bold move made by Epic was the removal of skin rarities from the locker. Although Epic had promised they would fix the new locker UI, which the majority of players heavily dislike, it seems like they're making it even worse. Epic stated they're retiring the old battle royale format of cosmetic rarities and they want all of the them to be under one category. So after six years, this marks the end of uncommon, rare, epic, and legendary emotes, skins, and even backlings as from now on, they'll all be the same. And for those of you curious about your pickaxe's rarity, all these will be displayed as rare in your battle royale loadout, which makes it even more concerning. Lots of people are upset about this change and have voiced their thoughts, but it seems like the change is final. Speaking of rarities, a main complaint at the beginning of the season was about Poseidon not being granted the Slurp series rarity as he normally would be. Fortnite's left a few rarities to stick around, like Slurp Legends, Marvel series, or Star Wars and it didn't take too long because luckily Epic decided to hear us out and the Poseidon skin is now part of the Slurp Legends series, which is one of the few remaining cosmetic rarities in game. You might be wondering where the mini pass is, and in the top right of the map, the iceberg has finally been getting closer and encased inside is still Aang and Appa and they're scheduled to be breaking out this Friday. Alongside them, all the mythics will be enabled and the cosmetics will be obtainable through a new mini pass which has two skins, one being Aang's main version and the other being Avatar Say Aang along with many other rewards, including Appa who's a glass. Here you can see the exact order of the mini pass and if you decide to unlock it, it'll have a free section with free rewards like an emoticon, backpack, emo, and pickaxe, or a paid section for a thousand V-Bucks with all the rewards listed on the screen. And if you're excited for the new skins, we're also going to be getting an old favorite, possibly returning after 1400 days. The Rue skin, which was previously known to be blacklisted, got a Lego style this update. This implies that Epic could actually be thinking of bringing her back into the item shop despite people calling them out on her outfit resembling those of World War II, and if so, that's a pretty bold decision. If she drops in the shop, it's going to be completely different, because now there's more changes to the item shop, including a shop rework. Starting in late May 2024, all item shop cosmetics are going to display the date when they're going to rotate out of the shop. This means that you're now going to be able to plan all of your purchases much more carefree because you'll know how long you have until your desired items leave the item shop. Speaking of collabs, in the past, Fortnite and Coachella have collaborated, but we've only seen recolors or just disappointing new versions of skins. Well, this year is going to be entirely different since not only is Fortnite Festival getting a special Coachella stage, but also two astronaut skins which are out of this world. There's going to be new instruments as well as two new icon emotes featuring Doja Cat and Sabrina Carpenter who are both going to be performing at Coachella. <laughs> even a new style for J Balvin. But right after the Avatar mini pass event concludes, we're gonna be receiving another huge Star Wars collaboration for May the 4th. 
we'll be getting two new skins. Chewbacca, who was previously leaked, as well as a rebel Leia Organa making it her second skin in the game. Gameplay leaks indicate that Chewbacca's iconic bowcaster is going to be a playable weapon, which is still unfinished in the game files. And as per usual, stormtroopers will be returning on the map, so it looks like we're in for a massive update. If that's not much of your style though, and you prefer the gods, well, joining the rest of the gods this season is none other than the god of music and son, Apollo. He also happens to be Artemis's brother and her opposite, since she's the goddess of the moon. It's possible that with his addition, we're also going to be seeing a mythic weapon to accompany his release. Every other god this season has their own signature item, whether it be Zeus's thunderbolt, Hades' chains, or Artemis's huntress DMR, so let's see if Epic keeps the trend going. Speaking of mythology though, if you've been wondering where Kratos is and when he's coming to the shop, we may finally have an actual date. In just 11 days, April 20th, God of War is having its fifth anniversary celebrating the game's release back in 2018, so it's very possible Epic's planning to release Kratos on that day. Additionally, there were rumors that he might return alongside a new skin from the game series with his son Atreus, but nothing's confirmed, so keep your eyes open for possible surprises. April 20th isn't the only important day though, because coming up on April 17th is a massive holiday. Nothing like Easter or St. Patrick's Day, but instead National Banana Day. In the past, Fortnite's planned shop releases for small days like this, like the bread cosmetics for Bastille Day in France, and this year a Banana Day shop tab was added. In the surveys, there's this Banana Onesie Jones skin, which would be perfect for this holiday, but regardless, expect some hilarious cosmetics for National Banana Day. A huge Easter egg nobody noticed in this update though is a hidden map change, because fans of Greek mythology will instantly recognize the face dots disc which is now on the map. This disc is an ancient Greek relic from the island of Crete, and its purpose is unknown to this day as it was written in a language of symbols that are impossible to decrypt. It's unknown what Fortnite's going to use it for, but it's a nice reference paying homage to ancient Greece and its many mysteries. But something that shocked everyone was that after popular demand, proximity chat is something that's coming to Fortnite creative. This opens up huge possibilities for what Epic could use it for, with many people asking for it to be added to regular battle royale. Other games like Call of Duty have attempted to make this work, but due to super toxic players and hate speech, it always ends up badly. Another massive update down the line is custom weapons, which are going to be arriving in creative. Fortnite released their roadmap for UEFN, and that's right, this means that creative maps will soon be able to create their own custom items that can be used. This will shake up Fortnite for sure, opening tons of possibilities, but for now, it looks like we're just going to have to stick to what we already have. Speaking of sticking to the old stuff, in this update, we have the return of Mega City. Kind of. That's right, Rocket Racing got its first ever major update, which is titled Neon Rush and takes place in a futuristic city. Not only that, but we're also going to be getting a new starter pack that'll include both a skin and a new car that'll be available in the shop super soon. Speaking of other modes, Fortnite Festival Season 3 is just around the corner, and fans have already began wondering who the next artist will be. But it might have been leaked accidentally. Lots of people wanted to see Billie Eilish because she's releasing an album soon, but it turns out that Taylor Swift will likely be Season 3's artist. Not only do the dates of her albums release line up with Fortnite Festival's new season, but she also posted what many people think could be a teaser as she announced that only a Fortnite remains until her album. This of course might create some controversy with the community, but hey, we can only wait and see what happens next. Comment down below and let me know who you guys would want to see around. That was everything you missed in Fortnite's 29.2 update, so like and subscribe for more.